This is a Yonix 2023 V-Core 95. Strung at 11.5 ounces, a flexible 61 stiffness rating, seven points headlight, and a slightly open 16 by 20 string pattern. This is an update to the very first tennis racket review I've ever done on this channel. And the Yonix frames I've recently reviewed here were mostly, well, definitely a disappointment. Well, enough B-roll. Let's see how this actually does on the tennis court. And as always, hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more original tennis content. Just like the previous version, this V-Core is very, very forgiving, almost feeling like a 98 square inch rack and extremely fast through the air. Although it's not nearly as fast as the Pure Aero 98. And swinging from the baseline, you can definitely feel the flexible 61 stiffness with any stroke from the baseline. The power was just right for this racket and the top spin for the forehand was pretty average. However, I did feel like this racket excelled with the topspin one-handed backhand and the forehand and backhand slices. This is probably due to the fast controlled and headlightedness, if that's a word, of this stick. Also, this was a fantastic stick for flattening out ground strokes, similar to the previous version. Now, onto the, some negatives for the baseline. The power from the forehand ground stroke was a bit lacking, and I wish that the racket had a slightly higher launch angle on the forehand as well. Funny enough, this was not apparent at all on my one-handed backhand side. Honestly, this racket feels like it was absolutely made for one-handers like myself. Also, there was some slight, very slight instability issues on the forehand wing. Other than that, this is a great stick from the baseline. Overall, there might be more negatives than positives from the baseline, but keep in mind that the negatives are very, very nitpicky at this point. So overall, this is a refreshing change up from the very disappointing Yonix racket reviews I did in recent memory. You know what's also refreshing? Today's sponsor, Shamdu. With their hygiene lineup specifically made for manly men that have one-handed backhands, like me, Shamdu has released their bar soap line. My favorite, the Tropical Thunder bar soap, not to be confused with the Tropic Thunder movie, don't get canceled. With this refreshing soap, it is guaranteed that you get your mixed doubles partner on a date after you win your tennis match. For all things Manly Man, click the link down in the description below. And thank you. It really helps out this channel. Thanks. Two, two. The quickness of the V-Core 95 was apparent at the net as well. With finesse shots like drop volleys and pickup volleys feeling natural, it's pretty easy to see doubles players and servant volleyers loving this stick. However, the one knock I have on this racket at the net is that it is lacking in power and plow through. Both my forehand and backhand stick volleys landed pretty short to what I was expecting it to be. For the volleys to land as deep as I wanted to, I really, really needed to set my feet and body because the racket will not do the work in terms of depth for me. But I also need to be careful because if I put too much emphasis on depth for these stick volleys, the ball would sail a little bit longer than expected.
The serves might be the worst part of this play test. It took me about 15 minutes of hitting flat serves to finally be dialed in. It was a similar problem to the Pure Arrow 98, but I was able to adjust after a lengthy period to dial in flat serves. I attribute this to how light this racket felt, just because it was really quick through the air. However, the kick and slice serves were a slightly different story. The slice serves were just okay. However, I do have an issue with the kick serves. Although the launch angle, power, and placement were all fine, I never felt like this racket gave me that extra kick to get my opponent out of his or her strike zone. The ball, however, did have topspin, but it never jumped away from my opponent. Overall, this was a fun playtest. For most of the negatives I've listed on this racket, I think there are two solutions to this. First, the lack of spin for forehand ground using kick serves can be remedied by having a true open string pattern of 16 by 19 instead of the slightly open string pattern of 16 by 20. Second, the lack of plow through for volleys and the adjustment period for flat serves can be adjusted by adding some weight onto the hoop or the head of the racket. But I always review tennis rackets in stock form because they are just too many options when it comes to customization for reviews such as this. It would be opening up a can of worms, to be honest, like Pandora's box. But I want to know what you guys think. Have you demoed this racket? Leave a comment down in the section below, or better yet, join my Discord where over 1,500 daily members are talking all things tennis. And to my third favorite moderator on my Discord tag, please don't cancel me just because I have some knickknacks, <laughs> some negatives with this racket. This uh, racket test was reviewed over five hours on court, and the strings were Yonix Polytour Fire on the mains, and then I believe the crosses were uh, a synthetic hood. I totally forgot which one it was, uh, but it was strong at 48 pounds. And as always, happy hitting.